Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you some more of the 10 series manual grinder. Um, to be specific, deburring and edge rounding. Uh, I took some stainless steel part, aluminium, and two very small stainless steel parts to show a little bit of uh, what the machine can do. Uh, so we're gonna deburr with a grinding pad, this is P120. And on the other side, we have the disc with a uh, Scotch-Brite and uh, abrasive lamellas. So, as you can see, they're working with uh, 130 by uh, 800. Uh, on the side we have these bars, they can go up and down if you have a very big part that you want to manually work on, you can just get them down. Uh, usually when we process small parts it's safer to, to have them up so the pieces don't fly off the table. As you can hear, we switch on the machine. Not only the motor starts to rotate, but also the vacuum immediately switches on. It can be turned off as well to save some energy. Well, the surface of the table has um, quite a good grip. So for the bigger stainless steel pieces, you can just go over them. So after the deburring of the stainless steel, I'm gonna switch to the disc. Make sure it's locked and off we go again. And the smaller pieces. Off. And the aluminium part. As we can see, the aluminium is a very nicely rounded off edge. The longer you grind, the rounder it gets. Uh, after this, of course, you can still grind it, polish it, finish it, uh, whichever way you want. Then I'm gonna change the heads. I'm gonna put the hammer head on. I'm gonna show you the switch system. Just use a simple tool. This one goes off. goes on and fix it again Opa. all right and now we can continue with the hammerhead so with the hammerhead we're gonna remove the big slack that you get on the bigger work pieces of uh, mild steel if they don't have a clean cut so these uh, we're gonna hammer off very important, of course, to wear all the protection uh, because these uh, slacks might uh, fly around a bit. Of course, we have um, protective uh, sides. We put them all up. Small pieces you will usually put up the sides. So uh, on all sides it's protected. There we go. Work on all the burrs. The sides where I've been, they're all very clean. Cleared of all the big parts. I see a few parts flying in my face. So it's really very important to have the goggles on. 
something is not done well, you can just see it and go again. And there we are. And after this, we can continue with further processing of the piece. Uh, apart from the deburring that we've done, uh, edge rounding, uh, polishing, surface finishing, we can also do the uh, laser oxide skin removal. Uh, for that, we put on a special metal wire brush disc made of, uh, with the hairs made of metal wire. And we turn up the speed a bit. And then we're gonna gently go across around the edges. As you can see, it's glittering. And the side has lost all the oxidation as compared to the original one. So, of course, this is not uh, suitable for extremely high quantities, but uh, for the small jobs, it's a very nice uh, extra feature of the machine. So with the machine, we also deliver a starter set in a box. Um, and it consists of different grid of uh, abrasive paper. These pads uh, can be put on on this side of the grinding head. Then we have these brushes with a mix of scotch brite and abrasive for the edge rounding of uh, mild steel, stainless steel, aluminium. And uh, then we have a pad with lamellas. Uh, if you want to do a really good edge rounding, deeper rounding off, this is uh, more aggressive, obviously. Then we have this pad with the Velcro for easy change of the different types of abrasives. And for polishing, here the scotch brights. Of course, you can uh, go on with polishing in uh, uh, higher level. Goods.